Hi everyone, welcome back to Learn Turkish the Easy Way channel. This is our next uh, live session, uh, live class on the grammar topics. We are continuing with the grammar topics today, and uh, today's uh, topic is going to be the reported past tense of present tense. And you can see examples on the screen as well. Uh, so it's basically what kind of uh, verbs. It is the it is the the verb format where we uh, talk about some past activity that we did in the past, but not in the past tense, but in the reported past tense format. Okay. So let me just clarify it uh, through the through the document that we have. Uh, let me open the. I think I have forgotten to open the, the PDF file. Let me just open that one as well for you. Uh, so yeah, uh, where where do we come from actually in regard to this uh, tense? Uh, let me open that one. As you probably remember, uh, this is our page. This is our big page, right? The whole big page that summarizes all possible verb conjugations in Turkish language. Uh, and so far we have covered this uh, highlighted areas okay we have covered the simple tense conjugations which is this one and we have covered the first block uh, for the combined tense conjugations this first block was composed of what it was composed of uh, the verb structures where we add the auxiliary uh, verb complementary verb ed right ed and therefore, we made uh, we made actually uh, past tense of all this and by adding that ed right ed to all these tenses and moods. We have actually eight here. We com uh, we we created combinations. So as you can see, the first one over here is the past tense of the present tense, and that is exactly what we will be doing today, but not in the past tense but the reported past tense. So we are starting with this one today, this this first line uh, of the second block of the combined tense conjugations. So everything will be same actually. What you see here, right here, is same as here. So we have we are dealing with the present tense here, but here above we, we made the past tense which was ed, right? Past tense uh, for the present tense, which means actually uh, the used to structure in English, right? I used to do, I used to play, I used to to go, and so on. But here today we are going to do it with the imish ending, right? Not ed ending, not the ed ending, but with the imish endings, because all of this block uh, combinations, passes con uh, reports passes conjugations, get imish ending here, okay? Get imish ending at the end. So we are starting again. Just we have seven com kind of ten combinations here. Okay, here we had eight in the first block. We had eight conjugations, eight, sorry, eight combinations. In the second block, we have seven combinations, possible combinations. And in the last one, in the third block, where we will talk, be talking about the conditional mood, we have only six combinations. So uh, let's start with this one that we are going to cover today. Okay. The reported past tense of the simple past, uh, simple present tense, and see the structure. Uh, before, uh, before continuing with this, uh, let me just give, provide a note about what a note about the fact that. Sorry, yeah, the note that uh, report the, the only difference between the. ED structure of the present tense and the image structure of the present tense is that the first one is about was about what some action in the past that you did uh, on the usual basis right so basically it was all about what I, I used to go to school at five for example I used to to to, to love something right today when we talk about image it will it is the same everything is the same the only difference is that it is reported and reported means what? That it is a, a verb action that you have not uh, witnessed yourself, that you have not observed yourself. 
somebody reported to you and therefore when you talk about somebody's actions uh, that you, you, you did not observe you did not witness you will be using this image structure that's the only difference okay so for example you can say that somebody used to play guitar in the past in the, okay in the past but you have never witnessed yourself so rather than saying uh, o guitar chalardı right you you cannot say because you can you, you you did not observe it you would say o guitar chalarmış eskiden o guitar chalarmış not chalardı because you did not observe it but chalarmış so you see it is the same action that he, he used to do in the past but because you uh, you you report something that you have never witnessed yourself that becomes image so the everything else is same okay and for all other tenses it will be the same for example this one the second here that you see here okay this one third one uh, the reported past tense of the reported past tense reported past tense of the future tense all of this will be the same for whatever we saw above with ed structure but the meaning is different okay the meaning is that you report something that you have never observed yourself that you have never witnessed yourself that's the only difference between what we see in the second block and the first block okay so don't forget what we are dealing with actually hi Muhammad thank you very much uh, thank you very much that's that's very good actually uh, I'm glad to hear that that my channel somehow helps people to learn Turkish easier uh, and faster thank you for your uh, feedback it really motivates me so let's now go and look at how we make uh, the this reported past tense of the present tense okay so here is as always I have this structure right uh, sorry let me go at the beginning to the beginning so as always I have this uh, four pos possible uh, cases right the four, four possible cases are what uh, the four possible cases affirmative negative uh, interrogative and negative interrogative right that's the possible four things that we can have in, in speech so with the first one let's start with the first one what is the rule here so the rule for the affirmative is that we use the verb root right which is what the verb without mac mac that's the verb root then we have one of these seven alternatives and by the way uh, you have r r ur ir ur ur which are added to the verbs with the root ending in consonant and any verb root ending in vowel will get only R, okay? Not uh, any of the other six ones, just R. So you get one of this then, right, as a present uh, tense ending. Then you add this image and then the personal ending. That's how we make an affirmative form of uh, reported past tense of the present tense. So here we have two examples as always, the verb yapmak to do and the verb Bilmek to know. So, what is the ultimate version we have to learn? We have to learn this ones, okay? This highlighted ones. They are the ultimate, ultimately used versions in speaking language, in spoken language, and in the in, in writing, okay? The yapar. So, let's look at the first person single, right? Ben yapar imishim. Yapar, you see, uh, root. Then we r, right? We get r, present tense ending. Then we have imish, and then we have person ending im. So what we do, we have to combine all of this to write it as a single word, okay? So ben will be yaparmışım, yapar imişim becomes yaparmışım, okay? And then again, pay attention that this e here, right, all these e's are transformed to ü because that is the vowel harmony. When you combine all of this, you have to follow the, follow the vowel harmony. So yapar imişim becomes yaparmışım. Ben yaparmışım, I used to do, okay? I used to do. Sen yaparmışsın. O, third person, he, she, right? Yaparmış. Biz yaparmışız. Siz yaparmışsınız. Onlar yaparlarmış. Now, yapar imişler, you may have, you may observe in practice uh, two, two versions, either yaparlarmış or yaparmış, yaparmışlar, okay? But the more uh, utilized one is the yapar larmış, okay? So uh, you probably will be better off using yapar larmış rather than yaparmışlar, okay? 
a part of the mesh. Again, but you can see both of them. Uh, textbooks don't have an agreement on which one is the correct one or the, the, the better one. Uh, for pronunciation, pronunciation purposes, yaparlar mesh is much easier, okay? Rather than the yaparmışlar. So yaparlar mesh is better. For the verb bilmek, to know, ben, right? Ben, bilirmişim. Sen, bilirmişsin. O, bilirmiş. Biz, bilirmişiz. Siz, bilirmişsiniz. And onlar, bilirlermiş. Okay? Bilirlermiş. They used to know. Okay? Onlar bilirlermiş. They used to know something. Reportedly. Okay? Reportedly. You, you have not observed that they knew it, but somebody told you that they knew it, and therefore you report it as they used to know it. Okay? Onlar bilirlermiş. All right, this is the affirmative. Okay, this is the affirmative format. Uh, and let's look now at the negative, how we make negative. For the negative, we have uh, maz, mez, only two possible. Normally, it's ma or me, right? Ma or me endings, negative endings that you have, sorry, suffixes that you have to add. Uh, so, but you have also z letter z here at the, uh, at the end, so I added the possible full version, okay? Maz, mez. So, and then you have, again, image and personal ending, nothing else. Everything else is the same, okay? So, for yapmak, and again, you see only two versions. There are no alternatives. R, R, there, there, there are no more than these two. It is either ma or me, and therefore it's maz or mez. So, for yapmak, it will be what? Yapmazmışım, I used, I didn't use to do, right? Sen yapmazmışsın, you didn't use to do. Reportedly, of course, reportedly, right? O yapmazmış, biz yapmaş, yapmazmış, yapmazmışız, siz yapmazmışız, yapmazmışsınız. This is very difficult, by the way, you have to, to pronounce. The longer they are, the more difficult to pronounce. So, yapmazmışsınız, okay? Siz yapmazmışsınız, and onlar yapmazlarmış, okay? Yapmazlarmış, or yapmazmışlar. And again, this is more useful, more... Uh, frequently used than the other one. And then let's look at the uh, verb uh, bilmek. Bilmek, uh, the negative for the first person will be bilmezmişim, right? I didn't use to know. Repo I reportedly didn't use to know. Sen bilmezmişsin. O bilmezmiş. Biz bilmezmişiz. Siz bilmezmişsiniz. And onlar bilmezlermiş. Okay? This is the negative. Let's no, now look at the interrogative, how we ask question. For the yapmak, so we have this question words, right? M, me, added after the verb root, of course, together with the tense ending. And don't forget again, look, look at this note. Uh, the question words in Turkish language are always written separately from the verbs. So what we have to do is we have to combine this one, right? To, to this two. Uh, the other uh, we don't combine everything because the question words have to be separate from the verb, verb, verb part. Therefore, we combine only these two. So the first one, first ben, right? Ben, yapar mıymışım? Ben yapar mıymışım? Sen yapar mıymışsın? O yapar mıymış? Right? Which means what? Basically, did he use to do it? Right? Did he reportedly use to do it? O yapar mıymış? Biz yapar mıymışız? Did we reportedly used to do? Siz yapar mıymışsınız? Did you, plural or formal, uh, used to do reportedly? And onlar yaparlar mıymış? Okay. For bilmek it will be ben bilir miymişim? Sen bilir miymişsin? O bilir miymiş? Biz bilir miymişiz? Siz bilir miymişsiniz? And onlar bilirler miymiş? Okay, that's interrogative. And the last one that is the structure grammar was grammar wise is we again we have this maz mez negative right, and we have question word either me or me because we have only maz and mez which requires me or me, and then we add image plus personal ending. Uh, so this is examples uh, for ban. Verb to do, right? For Ben, it will be yapmaz mıymışım. Sen yapmaz mıymışsın. 
o yapmaz mıymış? Biz yapmaz mıymışız? Right? Yapmaz mıymışız? Siz yapma, yapmaz mıymışsınız? And onlar yapmazlar mıymış? For bilmek it will be uh, ben, ben bilmez miymişim? Sen bilmez miymişsin? Right? Uh, o bilmez miymiş? miymiş? Uh, biz bilme, bilmez miymişiz? Siz bilmez miymişsiniz? And onlar bilmezler miymiş? Would, uh, so basically, what, what mean what? Didn't they uh, reportedly use to know? That is the question here actually. Alright? So, uh, this is the grammar structure. Okay? Let me just to repeat. Okay, this is affirmative. This is negative. This is interrogative. And this one is negative interrogative. That is how we make the grammar structure. Okay. Uh, now, uh, let's now look at some examples over here. Let me change the screen. Uh, so let's go to the our work pad. Okay, our work pad. Uh, and uh, start working on the some kind of verbs. And by meanwhile, you can also subscribe to our channel, grammar, ch sorry, Telegram channel. And if you really like this video, I would appreciate the like for this video. Okay, thumbs up for this video. So let's now look at some examples. Here I have examples of, of, of the same verbs I used for the previous classes. And this is affirmative for first person singular, okay? Only first person singular. I, I, I don't cover here you, he, she, we, and so on. This is only examples for first person singular for the affirmative. So for oturmak, to sit or to reside means what? How will be oturmak for first person singular? Affirmative, oturmuşum. Sorry, otururmuşum, right? Oturur, it is the present tense. Then you become, make it otururmuşum. Oturur imişim, right? This one becomes oturmuşum. Okur imişim becomes okurmuşum. Right, I used to read. I reportedly used to read, or oh, sorry, uh, to to read or study. Right, okumak also means to study. I reportedly used to study. Sever uh, becomes sever. So sever imişim becomes sever mişim. I reportedly used to love or to like. Görür imişim becomes görür mişim. I reportedly used to see. Verir imişim becomes verir mişim. I reportedly used to give. Okay, uh, this is the affirmative. Let's look at the negative. Okay, negative, let me bring it up here. No, let me put it down, actually. Okay, so negative is here. Oturmak will be what? Ben, right, it's me, first person singular, I. Oturmazmışım, right, I used, no, I, I didn't use to sit or to reside. For okumak, it will be, I didn't use to read or to study. Okumazmışım. Sevmek becomes sevmezmişim. I didn't use to love. Görmek becomes görmezmişim. I didn't use to see. And vermek becomes vermezmişim. I didn't use to give. Then we have what? Then we have interrogative. We have again uh, to add mu, mu, mi, mu, mu, right? For oturur it will be mu of course here oturur mu imişim for sever it will be mi for görür it will be mu so and then of course we combine them because we have to combine all of this right these things we have to combine this when we combine them of course they also become transformed because for example look at here mu becomes imişim right becomes mu imişim right so let's let's go from the beginning so oturmak will become what oturur mu imişim did I uh, did I reportedly used to reside to sit Okumak, did I reportedly okur muymuşum, right? Did I reportedly used to to read or to study? Sevmek, sever miymişim? Did I reportedly used to love, to like? Görmek becomes görür muymuşum? Did I reportedly used to see? And vermek becomes verir miymişim? Did I reportedly used to give? All right. Uh, Uh, and the last one, the last one is, sorry, is a negative interrogative, right? Uh, oturmak becomes oturmaz mıymışım, right? 
didn't I used to to sit or to reside? Okumak becomes okumazma imişim. Sevmek becomes sevmezmi imişim. Görmek becomes görmezmi imişim. And vermek becomes vermezmi imişim. Okay. Uh, so basically, these are the examples. Okay. Uh, for the how we do it for first person singular, of course, the, there are other persons, right, that you can also conjugate for these verbs. But I just only covered here what this uh, first person singular for affirmative, negative, interrogative, and negative interrogative. Let's finalize our uh, video with four examples here. I have four examples here, so let me just zoom it in. So the first example here, what? Seni hep özlermiş. So this is third person, right? Third person singular, and you see how long it is. He, she reportedly used to miss because özlemek, right? Özlemek is to miss somebody. You miss somebody. Özlemek, özlüyorum, right? I miss somebody. So seni hep özlermiş. This is third person uh, singular, right? He, she reportedly used to miss, which means basically what in the past. He or she reportedly used to miss you. Now, what does it mean in, in, in terms of the meaning? It means that you did not observe it. You didn't know about this. Somebody told you about this. Okay? Maybe, for example, your friend tells you that some person used to miss you. Okay? That's how it, it is uh, basically used. So, for this specific case example, the first sentence here is, it is the case, for example, when somebody tells you that somebody missed you. Okay, used to miss actually in the past. Seni hep özlermiş. He, she reportedly used to always miss you. We talk about some usual action in the past, okay, but reported one. Then we have the second sentence. Ali bizi hiç sevmezmiş. Okay, so you learned it afterwards. You learned from somebody that Ali didn't reportedly use to love or to like us at all, okay? So Ali reportedly didn't use to like love us at all. Sevmez. Now this is negative, of course. That's why we have uh, I, I put it in capital. So Ali bizi hiç sevmezmiş. Okay, that is an example of how we can use this as a reported past tense. Somebody reports tells you that Ali in the past used not to love you. Okay, or didn't use to love you. The third example. Beni sever miymiş? Okay. Uh, now, the first example, so the first meaning of this is what? Beni sever miymiş? Did he, she reportedly used to like or love me? Okay. Which means what? You don't know. You ask somebody. For example, you ask your friend, did he or she reportedly used to like me or love me? Because you did not observe it, you don't know. But maybe your friends knows. Your friends know. Some friends of your you know, and you ask them, okay, did he, she reportedly used to love me? That's when you can use this, for example, case. But in addition to this, remember when we talked about uh, the simple past tense, not a reported one, but simple past tense of the present tense, it was also about what? Second, third condition, remember? For example, when you say, ya pardon, right? Sorry. Yapardım, it means what? It has two meanings. First, it will it means I used, I used to do, right? And the second meaning is, I would have done. So if you, for example, asked me, I would have done it for you. Okay. So yapardım, uh, isteseydin yapardım. If you asked me, if you wanted it from me, I would have done it. That's the second meaning. Don't forget that meaning. That's the second meaning of the uh, past tense of the present tense okay same is valid for the reported past tense okay so here when you say beni sever miymiş it means two things first one is did he she reportedly used to love me that's the question you are wondering something and second you are you are asking would he love me if for example i loved her okay if i loved her or let's say the third condition if I had loved her would she would she have loved me back okay that's basically what it means that's the second possible meaning depending on the context it can mean what 
used to or would have done. Okay. And again, the only difference is here is reported. That is the only thing that is reported. You don't know, you ask your friend. If, for example, I had loved her, would she have loved me? Okay, beni sever miymiş? You don't know, it's reported. You're asking from somebody. But if you're asking uh, somebody directly, for example, let's assume I ask a person directly, right? I will not use, of course, uh, the reported past tense because I will ask directly, right? Beni sever miydin? Not sever miymişsin, but sever miydin? Right? Sever miydin? Did, would you have loved me? Not sever miymişsin. Okay, because that will be reported. Why would you ask something to, uh, as a reported to the person that is already in front of you? Okay. So don't forget, we have two meanings uh, for the when you use this present tense in the past. Okay, whether reported past tense or the simple past tense, it doesn't matter. Both of them mean two things: either uh, that you used to do something in the past, and the second meaning is that. You, it is the conditional, okay? Second, third, third conditional, I would have done. Okay, let me just delete this one and let's look at the last sentence. Benimle, benimle evlenmez miymiş? That's a question, negative interrogative, right? Negative interrogative question. Wouldn't he, she reportedly marry, with, marry me? Of course, in, in, in Turkish it is used with uh, the preposition with. Marry me. Benimle evlenmez miymiş? You're asking your friend. As a reported case, right? You don't know, but uh, some some friend tells you, for example, if you, for example, if you were fat, right, he she would not have married you, and you are kind of surprised, asking, "Are you really kidding? Wouldn't he really she have married me if I were fat?" So benim evlen So you don't you don't you didn't hear it from the the person directly, okay? So that person told to, told your friend, and your friend tells you that she will not have married you if you are fat, for example, or if you, if you, if for example, if you are tall. Okay. So you see, it is kind of a negative interrogative question as a surprise. You are asking, wouldn't he or she reportedly marry with me, marry me? That's an example of uh, reported past tense of present tense. Let me give you another example. Uh, think about, for example, when you can use it. When will you use for I? Okay, I. When will you use, for example, ben yaparmışım? Because you're talking about yourself, right? How can it be reported? The example is what? For example, imagine you, uh, your mother, your mom talks about your childhood, okay? And you don't remember your childhood, okay? You don't remember your childhood, and she says, for example, that you used to cry very much. When you were a child, uh, when you were when you were uh, little, you, when you were a baby, you used to cry. Your mom tells you this, okay? So what does it mean? Let me just write that sentence as well in Turkish. Çocukken çok ağlarmışım. Okay. I used. Now, it means I reportedly, right? Because I don't know. I love mushum. I say mush, right? Mush means reportedly. I reportedly used to cry much when I was a child. Chojukke right? means when I was a child, when I was, or in childhood. Okay? So, Chojukke çok ağlarmışım. This means that I reportedly used to cry Right? Alarmashim. This is an example when you can use I, a reported past tense for yourself. So you don't know, you don't remember yourself as a child, but your mom tells you that you used to cry very much. So when you talk about this one, this event, this you're crying in the childhood, you will say, çocuk ken çok ağlarmışım. Because you don't, you don't remember it. You just heard it from your mom, okay? So that is an example of when you can use uh, when you can use uh, reported past tense for the present tense in the sorry in, in the reported past tense, okay? 
when talk about some usual activity in the past as a reported past tense. Because some people ask really, how is it possible that you talk about something about yourself and use reported past, right? That's, a, that's an example. For example, you were sleeping, right? Uh, somebody observed you while sleeping, right? And you were snoring, for example, right? And when you wake up, somebody tells you that you were snoring while, while sleeping, right? And then you, say, you, you tell other friend, Uyurken uh, horlarmışım, right? I used to snore in the past when I was sleeping, right? So in the past, I don't snore right now, but in the past I used to snore because that is something I cannot observe myself. Somebody told me that I used to snore, right? That, that's an example where you can say horlarmışım. Horlamak is to snore, right? Horlarmışım is the third, uh, sorry, the reported past tense of the first person singular uh, that you of the action that you did something something in the past on the usual basis okay thank you Bahar for for the feedback to I hope this lesson is clear so we today we covered what just to, re, to, to wrap up we covered let me go to change the screen uh, we covered basically this one okay we covered the reported past tense of the present tense. Some action that you did in the past on the usual basis, but uh, it is reported, right? Uh, and again, don't forget the reported past tense means we are talking about the, the actions that you did not observe yourself, did not witness yourself, or uh, you learned about something later, okay? Uh, that's it basically okay so next time when we will cover the next grammar class we will cover this one which will be reported past tense of the present continuous which is basically what adding image to the your right yapıyormuş gidiyormuşum görüyormuşuz and so on and so on or vermiyormuşuz right yapmıyormuşuz negative one so this one will be our next grammar class uh, it is the reported past tense of the present continuous I was going right I reportedly was doing I reportedly was uh, was playing I reportedly was uh, I don't know reading and so on and so on okay all right if there are no other questions nothing I'll just finish video at this point thank you for joining I hope you enjoy the weekend have a nice uh, we can have a nice Saturday for those who just start the day. Uh, see you in the next classes. Bye-bye.